Okay, today uh, I'm going to kind of do a short video on the universal flame sensor. Uh, guys, with this flame sensor, it's the 790-843 Alpha 1. Uh, White Rogers has made it. I'm sure other companies have made it, but I'm, we're doing the White Roger one today. Rogers one today. Uh, this one pretty much is the only one you need to keep in your van. So all those times you, you know, you had to change a flame sensor and Lo and behold, it was the one you didn't have in your van. That those time, those days are over. So this flame sensor right here, um, it comes as just a straight long flame sensor. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, sometimes they're shorter. Sometimes you got to bend them, and sometimes they're bent different angles. You're right. Uh, example of that would be that one right there. This is a train flame sensor, sensor uh, 114, I believe is the name of this one. Um, that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, the box comes with a nice piece of paper giving you all the, uh, what you what you have to do for all of them. Now this one tells you all the flame sensors you don't have to do anything with. You can just put this in here and don't do anything. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more complicated, but not certainly not out of our realm. Some of these flame sensors, the ones that are listed right here, this is too long, and all you got to do is get you a pair of end snips, or even maybe a pair of lineman's pliers or hacksaw, and just cut it to the length. Now make sure when you're measuring what how how you have to cut it, you got to put it. You see how this. This uh, ceramic is a little bit longer. You, you, that, you have to take that into account. So for example, if you would cut it right here. So you me measure from your, where your, the entry point from your screws and uh, that's how you measure how you cut it. If this was a straight one. Okay, so. Now, what we're going to do today, a little, little exercise here, is I'm going to do a bending or show how to bend one. And I got the train uh, sensor uh, 114, 1114, and it's a bent sensor. Uh, so one of the things you have to watch out for when you're bending it, as you see, you have to bend it where your screw hole keeps the same angle. Otherwise, it, you're... When you put it in there, it'll be in the wrong spot. So what I'm doing here, uh, what they tell you to do, they have a, oh, by the way, I've thrown a couple of things in here. Uh, the the uh, box comes with a couple more screws. Also a little extension if you need to do that. Uh, uh, stake on if you need to use a stake on. It also comes with this little sleeve that you need to put on when you're bending. Uh, so what you would do is put this sleeve on. Make sure you're at the same angle as the other one. Make sure you're the same angle. And then line it up. And this is where you would bend it. Now you can bend it a couple of different ways. One way is get something like a, a uh, can you see this? Um, it's a, a piece of tubing. Okay, get a piece of tubing. Of course, obviously I got a too small of a piece of tubing. Or you could also use a wooden block and hold it down and push it down like that. Now, I'm not gonna do it because we're gonna keep this in activation. That's all you gotta do. The main thing is just make sure you line up your line it up with your how your screw holes are gonna be because you don't want it when you put that bent thing in there to be in the wrong spot. And always use this sleeve, it helps you with the bending. And that's it. Thanks guys. Uh this will this is a good tool. It's gonna save you a lot of aggravation where you all you need is a flame sensor and the one you uh, you don't have the right one on your truck. This one pretty much takes care of every single one.